starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. He's going to come over this afternoon to look at the feed corn. Oh, fine. Seems to be in prime condition. Should bring a good price. I'm going over to the orchard and reset the irrigation lines. If Crane comes before I get back. Send Timmy after me, huh? All right. this time. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Take it easy, little fella. I'm not gonna hurt you. Now what? That's all. Take you home. Golly, girl, they look like fresh bobcat tracks. We better get out of here. Come on. <laughs> Got in the woods. I wonder where their mother is. 
If she were anywhere around, Miles would have found her. <laughs> do you think we should feed them? Yes, I do. I bet they're awfully hungry. I'll go get the milk ready. OK, Mom. Uh, what's going on here? Where on earth did they come from? Well, last night I found them in the woods. Well, that figures. What happened to the mother? Well, I don't know. We found some bobcat tracks. Maybe the cat chased her off. <laughs> Scrawny little squealer, isn't it? They probably haven't eaten in a long time. Sal must have broken out of her pen. Sows often go off by themselves like that when they have their young. Well, some farmer is probably out hunting for these pigs and their mother right now. Well, I better call Les Sims at the Farm Bureau. If he has any inquiries, he can tell the owner that we found the piglets. Come on. Come on. Run to eat. That's why it's the run. Well, howdy, Mr. Crane. Glad to see you. Hello, Martin. I hear you got a real good crop of corn this season. The best. Come on, see for yourself. All right. Well, there it is. Uh-oh. Say, this is choice feed. I told you so. Well, you sure timed it right. The market's paying top prices right now. But it's worth it, a feed like this. I'll tell you what, I'll send my truck over either later today or the first thing tomorrow morning. Might just as well make out the sales contract now. Give you a down payment and the balance when the corn is weighed and graded. Well, that'll be fine. Hi, Paul. Oh, hi, Les. Come on in. Crane? Glad to see you, Sims. After I got your call, I thought I'd better drop by and take a look at those pigs that Timmy and Lassie found. I sent out the word, but no one's reported a missing sow. Well, the owner probably figures the sow went off, and he's waiting for her to return on her own. Yeah, that's right. That's why I want to take a look at them. I know most of the registered livestock in this part of the country. Thought I might recognize them. <laughs> I don't know. In fact, they don't even look like a registered breed. They look pretty poorly. Paul, have you thought they might be wild pigs? Well, no, Les. Never occurred to me. If they are wild, the sow hasn't been inoculated. If I were you, I'd keep them away from the rest of my livestock until I found out for sure. Well, how can I find out if I can't locate the mother? Excuse me. Do you mean those pigs could infect other animals or something? Yes, that's right, Mr. Crane. If they're wild, wild animals carry all sorts of contagion. What about that corn? Could they infect that too? Yeah, they might, if they got into it. I'm mighty sorry, Martin. But you and I both know that those pigs were in that corn. I'm afraid I can't buy it. That's feed corn. If one of my buyers were to use it and any of his livestock came down with anything, I'd be held responsible. He's right, Paul. All right, Mr. Crane, I won't hold you to the deal. If you can assure me, within a day or two, that that corn hasn't been infected in any manner, I'll be happy to take it off your hands. I'll sure try. Thanks. Sorry, Paul. Well, it's not your fault, Les. You couldn't have said anything else. Hi, Mr. Sims. Oh, hi there, Timmy. Who's that? Mr. Crane. Did you see Lassie's litter of pigs? Yeah. Where'd you find them? Oh, about a half a mile from here in the woods. Did the owner turn up? No, Timmy. Listen, would you take these piglets and put them out in the old pig pen for now, please? Is something wrong, Dad? Yes, Timmy, there is. There may be wild pigs. If they are, they could have infected that corn. Pigs. It's almost impossible to tell when they're so young. Well, I'll get them out of here right away. 
I'll check and see if any reports have come. All right, then. I wish I had known those pigs would cause so much trouble before I brought them home. Well, you couldn't have known, Timmy. Well, I would have just left them there. Oh, you couldn't do that, dear. Leave them there all unprotected and facing starvation? Now, could he, Paul? No, I suppose not. Just the same, I wish somebody else had found them. Preferably their mother. Well, I guess we'll just have to take care of them until their owner shows up. And I guarantee you that won't be long. Unless those pigs are wild, I'm going to find their owner by noontime. find that other piglet before something happens to it. tracks. Thank you. 
You heard that piglet. She took out of there in a hurry. Come on, Lassie. You better get home to Dad. Come on, let's go home. Come on, get going. Come on. That's no wild pig. And I can prove it. You see that ear notch? Yeah. Well, that's like the one Dr. Weaver put on our hog last year when he inoculated him. And look at those scratches. She must have been fighting with the bobcat when she was separated from her litter. Well, I think this solves our problem. Come on, let's go call Mr. Crane. I'm glad everything worked out okay, Martin. I need that feed. Thanks, Mr. Crane. You know, 
I'm wondering why nobody's come forward to claim that sow in her litter. That's valuable property. Oh, this is a pretty big valley, Mr. Crane. It takes a while for news to get around. I only had time to notify a few neighbors before Lassie found the sow. But I'm sure we'll hear soon. No doubt. Well, thanks again, Martin. And thanks to you, Lassie, for saving that corn for me. Well, goodbye, folks. Bye. Goodbye. All's well that ends well, I always say. I agree. Me too. What do you always say, Lassie? <laughs> <laughs>